Hi everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV and I've got a really good question for this video from Matthew Blunden TV. It says, hey Dave, great videos. Thank you very much. I want to get an Apple cinema display, but it is very expensive and you are 100% right there. It's a big, big investment. Are there any good alternatives? I would be using the display uh, for my MacBook Pro screen when I'm at home so I get that desktop experience. So it's a brilliant question and you mentioned Apple Cinema Display, I'm sure you're referring to the Apple Thunderbolt Display uh, which is their current uh, 27 inch monitor. Now for those of you who haven't seen the video there's an annotation on the screen round about here and this is uh, Josh's unboxing and first look at the Apple Thunderbolt Display so you'll get to have an idea of what it looks like. It's a fantastic screen, but it is very expensive. Just over £700 if you're a student and you buy it on that student pricing. And I think the pricing on it, let me just check. I never, re, uh, I never rehearsed these q and A. so let me just get the price up of the Thunderbolt display on here. I think it's about a £1,000. Oh, there you go, £899. So that's a big, big investment when it comes to um, uh, just what's essentially a screen. Now, is it worth paying that £899 or the, the £700 mark if you're a student? Well, if you own an Apple computer with a Thunderbolt port, then you get the added benefit of the connectivity options on this particular display. So, in essence, you're, you're getting a very nice solution. You're also able to charge your laptop from the display as well. The resolution on it's 2560 by 1440 and it's an IPS display with the FaceTime camera. Very, very nice display, uh, crystal clear. Um, some people still complain that it's got the gloss finish to it. For me, that's not an issue. You've also got um, three USB 2 ports, a Firewire 800 port and Gigabit Ethernet on it as well. So. It's really more than just a monitor. So you could say that premium price, you're getting a lot of technology and connectivity for that extra premium that you're paying for it. Now you've asked for alternatives. There is one alternative which I would say is worth considering and that's the Dell U2711 Ultra Sharp display. And you can pick that up for around about 536 pounds. So it's about 300 pound saving over the Apple Cinema display. Now you're getting the same 2560 by 1440 resolution, so really good resolution. It's an IPS panel as well, so good good display technology. 80,000 to 1 contrast ratio. It works off the display port, so you're losing that Thunderbolt connectivity and the extra um, sort of ease of use that that provides, but you're saving around about £300. From what I've heard, I've only, I've only seen these maybe at a glance, I haven't really seen the display up close and personal or used it for a long period of time. But from what I've heard, people who've got these Dell UltraSharp monitors are extremely pleased with them. So if you can give up the connectivity of the Apple Thunderbolt display, then yes, it's worth saving the £300 and going for something like the Dell. If you live in an Apple world where you want the uh, sort of extra connections and all the bells and whistles that the Thunderbolt display provides, then I think it probably is just about worth paying that little bit extra. Something else to throw into the equation though, and a lot of people often say this, is if you're paying £900 uh, for the Thunderbolt display, why not add some money to that budget and get an iMac because you're still getting that superb 27 inch display. It's a very good point and something worth considering. So that's it for this video. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. Leave me some new questions as well. Hit that like button because that really does help me. And I will see you all in the next video.